Hello everybody, good to see you. Today we're going to talk about position control. We have this part and we are going to have two small holes here. We have one large hole at top. We have datum plane A here, datum axis B here, datum axis C here. We have used these two FCF with positioning control here at bottom and also at top. We would like to see what is the meaning of this modifier for datum feature here and also here. Let's start with this hole on left hand side. Here we have this model. We know what is the actual size of this hole. We know what is the perpendicularity error. And then easily in first step we can calculate what is the distance between these two vertical lines. By having minus between these two values, we can calculate what is distance between these two vertical lines. In second step, we can calculate what is the maximum diameter of the gauge. Here we have MMC 10.1 minus 0.1. We can calculate the maximum diameter of the gauge. It should be 10. We have these two values and then easily we can calculate what is this distance what is the possible shifting value for this hole it can be here in third step we can calculate this interval by having minus between these two values 10.15 minus 10 we can have 0.15 in the same scenario, we can calculate what is the shifting value for position of this axis of this hole. Again, we have this actual hole diameter. We are going to have this perpendicularity arrow, and then we can calculate what is the diameter of this cylinder whenever we are going to have these two vertical lines. And then again, we have 10, we have MMC, we are going to calculate what is the maximum value for the diameter of the gauge. It can be 9.8. By having minus between these two values, we can calculate what is the possible value for shifting for this hole. The center of this hole can shift in this interval, in this TZ, 0.28. In third step, we are going to have this large hole. We have again this actual value. We are going to have this error because of the perpendicularity. And then we can calculate what is the distance between these two vertical lines. We can have this minus between these two inputs. And then we can calculate this interval for these two vertical lines. In second step, we can calculate what should be the maximum diameter of the gauge. It is 15 minus 0 0.15. It will be 14.85. And then by having minus between these two values, again, we can calculate the shifting value for this hole. In last step, let's see what is going on here. Here, we can see it should be perpendicular to reference A. But here, we are going to have this TZ, let's say for shifting, it is 0 0.28. But we have back to B with modifier already, we have calculated what is the possible value for shifting for first hole for, for this datum axis B, it is 0 0.15. We can say, the shifting value for the center of this hole can be this value 0 0.28 plus 0 0.15 it is 0 0.43 however vertically the center or the axis of this hole should be in the cylinder with the diameter of 0 0.28 but we have this possibility to shift the center of this hole. If 
the first hole is exactly at the center for last one for large hole again we are going to calculate what is the maximum value for shifting if two other holes are exactly at the center we can see here the tz for that is let's say 15.1 minus 0 0.03 we are going to have 0 0.07 plus 0 0.15 it will be 0 0.22 vertically the axis of this hole should be in a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.22 but the possible the maximum value for the shifting it can be calculated in this way we are going to consider the minimum value for this shifting we are going to have the shifting value 0 0.15 for first hole and for second hole we are going to have this shifting value 0 0.28 in order to do this shifting possible we are going to consider the minimum value and then we can see the center of this hole can shift in this TZ 0 0.37 for now I would like to close this session again in coming session I'm going to talk about the position control thank you for today I hope you enjoy it see you next time